Let's look at the battery, because Fernando just got done wiring that up. And he put the cover back on, so He's talk done. to me. That's it, it's done. It's done? You're Magic. You're not gonna see it. <laughs> we have a mount over here. We mounted it instead of using one inch self tappers through the side. Yeah. The wire pretzel's all gone. It just comes out of here, loops down, and attaches. This is all done. One of the things we want to do is make it so he can lift it up, get to the tire pressure thing. We have the back cover here. It's made out of plastic. That's why we put that brace in there. Fernando's come up with a plan that he thinks might work. What we've done is we've put a groove down the center here and this line, we want to try to bend it at this line. Now how we're going to bend it is over here we have a plastic heat strip. This guy right here I've had for about 20 years now. We're going to set it on top of there and then hopefully we can get the plastic, just the plastic hot enough, we can bend it and tighten that area up there and make like a hinge like they do in a lot of cars now where you have that dual plastic and there's carpet over the top and it's like a factory hinge. That's the plan. Got my fingers crossed. Let's give it a try. Otherwise, we're just going to cut it, which I really don't want to do. So it's folding. Yep, and that'll work just like that, which is what we want it to do. It just heated up, stretched the edge. All good. Pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and get it in the car, get the boxes in the car, and then we're going to do the radio, which all we really have to do there is just plug it in. The radio's in, that was frustrating. Luckily they have the instructions online. Uh, we did find out, you have to have the car running to program the kit properly, just in case you're doing one of these Mustangs. As you saw, the subwoofer's in. We'll get to that in a little bit. Let's hop into the car, let's take a listen. Let's do a little bit of tune. So here's the dash. So this car was already playing, as you know. It sounded pretty good, but that doesn't mean it sounded great. We're gonna try to get it to sound great. First thing up always is polarity check, then we'll check our crossovers, then we'll do a little EQ.
You good? Everything is right. All right. Oh my God. Let me see this. Crawling into the back of this car, into that back seat, you can go up on that rear deck, or you could do yourself a favor and just come in from the back and meter it. If it meters backwards or red, 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 green, because the fronts are green, green, red, then we're all good. All right, we got red, red, green on both. Cool, polarity's good. Now we're gonna test our crossovers. First thing we wanna do before we do anything is go in here into the EQ settings and see what they set up. We should be okay, because this is an 8200. Shouldn't recall any of the EQ settings. Simple for default is off. Yeah, so we're good. It didn't retain anything. So we can turn it up. Gonna play a little loud and see what we get. Now, without getting too deep in this, I can already tell that they have the crossover way too low and the gain's up way too high, which is real common. This is one of those things where it, he's been driving around with this and the sound wasn't the problem, it was everything else. Now we're gonna tune it right and hopefully it will just sound better and he'll be happier. I need to jump into the back and turn down some gains and turn up some crossovers. All right, let's try again. <laughs> So the one thing you always want to check is balance and fader, right, left. And also when you're setting the crossovers, you want to make sure that the rear speakers are playing where they're supposed to and the front speakers are playing where they're supposed to. In this case, it's all four of the same speakers, but you still want to make sure. So like if you got six by nines, you might want a little bit more bass out of them than you do out of small speakers in the front. We're going to input some subwoofer now and see what that does. No, now let me see. All right, man, we got this thing sounding good. What do you think, Fernando? Nice. Let's take a look how the trunk came out with that little flap that we made. The box is back in. We went ahead and added this little strip of plastic right here. That's gonna keep that box from sliding. It's only a half inch, so all you have to do is lift the box up and you can slide it forward or back if you need to. Not like this box is gonna be easy to come out at all because you have to pull the woofers out and yeah, pain in the butt. Pull up on this guy, folds right up. There's your spare tire inflator, battery, so you can keep an eye on that. Your two amplifiers, and the crossovers are mounted in the back. If you need to, you can slide the box forward, and then it'll tilt up this way, and you have access to those if you ever need to check out the speakers and see what's going on there. All right, guys, there you go. There's the 911 in the Mustang. Thank you so much for watching, as always. You good? Yep. Got anything you want to say? No. Really? On to the next one. There you go. See you guys next time. Bye.